Hey, I'm Big B and I Brick, and welcome to another edition of the Sellers Stream. Got with me Great South Bricks, who's in rough condition, so camera off. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Got with us uh, Kittenville Brick and Coldwater Bricks. Uh, how you guys doing? This week we will be discussing the proposed new additions to Bricklink and what that can mean, what it can't mean, what uh, just what the hell is going on, and what is your impression of it? Um, overall, in the forums, it's been a slaughter fest. A lot of people taking out a lot of anger on uh, very few people, but pretty much just passing the word along. But um, you know, it's uh, it's my understanding the most responded to thread in Bricklink history. Um, and probably 95% is against, but, uh, there are also a lot of messages from people that are just bored on both sides of the street. Have you been keeping up with that at all? I looked at a little bit and I would say, you know, just by what I've looked at, it's more like 99% of, let's just call them unhappy people. But I mean, I'm sure there's people out there who just really don't care. They're just on the fence about it. Yeah. There's a, I mean, my feeling is it's, it's going to come. We don't really have a choice on it. It is a company. It's not, uh, it's not no longer what you could consider a community where input is a driving force. Um, my biggest issues with it is how it's being implemented, mm -hmm. meaning uh, the way that it's being categorized. I would, have a lot less, and I think a lot of people would have a lot less of an issue with it if um, there was a separate category constructed for third party and custom goods. So that the uh, basically when you were doing searches in parts, you only got Lego. Um, right. So you could still have a higher category being. Um, the type of vendor, I guess, but don't have them commingle as you dive down. Right. And don't have the big thing. I, I think the big kicker for everybody is the default view shows um, the third party goods mixed in with uh, the Lego goods and alphabetically it comes before it. So there's a lot Are they of done a there. sandbox yet? Yeah, there is a sandbox available for it. If you want to, uh, if you want to log out, of your Brickling account, you can access mm -hmm. the sandbox. It's it's on uh, Admin Jack's first message. So it's actually pretty okay. easy to find because all you have to do is click on one of the, one of the, I think 600 plus rants um, <laughs> that are following that message and uh, go and find the, the original one. And you can, everybody should actually read what Bricklink is announcing um, and read it carefully because they're, Basically, putting forth a uh, letting you know a map of what's what's happening. Um, it's it's going to happen. Yep. I am playing the part of somebody who is defending them today. Please understand that because we could not find anyone who was willing to. Um, not that there are not people doing it. Just in my group of people who are willing to show their face on camera. Uh, nobody was willing to do that. And I don't have a problem with that. And I also respect that. Um, but uh, Brick Arms, let's, you know, talk about them a little bit. You were just checking out their website. It is really nice. It is, I'll be honest, it's not my thing. I don't really mock a whole lot when I do. It's definitely not on the war theme. Um, but I will say it's very nice, but I consider Bricklink to be a Lego selling website, not a Lego type selling website, like, you know, third party vendors. And if you do, it needs to be categorized as such. But I mean, they got everything. They I do. The one thing that I was looking at, the was, uh... figure is there. Say so what? The one thing that I was looking at that did have some crossover and very similarities was in the helmets area. Yes. I, 
Some of the helmets look like some of the newer Star Wars Rebels helmets. I just saw that a few minutes ago. I'm trying to find it again. The Boonie, the uh, SSH 40. All have similar counterparts. Parts. I'm going through them real quick. But um, there is a lot of appeal for this. It is in oh, yeah. the younger markets. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure they make really high quality stuff too. They do. And, and that's, that's one really of the reasons cool. why they were chosen to be first is because of the detail of the molds. Um, the, these are very high quality third-party goods. They're not the cheap shit that you find on AliExpress. Although, Rick Arms is highly copied on AliExpress, and if, since they do not brand their own elements, so there's no Rick Arms name or BA or anything like that that I'm aware of on any of their elements, um, they're very easily and currently copied in mass for cheap. Mm -hmm. Like 500 weapons for $6.50. And that leads down a slippery slope for people that are uh, people that are willing to go to those bounds. And that's what people are. People are very concerned with the slippery slope, slippery slope, slippery slope. And where is this going to go and how far will it go? Right. And my biggest concern, like I said, is just the categorization. I would just like uh, things to be separated and okay. not buy searchable, you know, so you can't. It seems like they're poisonous or something, but it comes down to a um, brand protection, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I am a, a seller on the world's leading Lego portal which is uh, Bricklink. Hey, Keith, how you doing? And um, I'm concerned that uh, all of the crossover may make my potential buyers concerned with the authenticity. Not as though that's ever come to question, but when other things are offered on some place where it is only one thing, um, people tend to worry. Right. Especially now in my situation where I'm you know, this is my bottom line. This is what feeds my children. Right. Yeah, I think a lot of people just reading. So I, you know, I haven't gone through all the comments. There's no way I could. But a lot of them it looks like it's the precedence that's being set more than actually having brick arms on there. It's like, because people are like, well, what's next, Lippin? And then someone made a comment. It's like, well, we're open to it. Well, that's. Probably not the best answer, but whatever. So I think this, you know, what comes after this is the biggest question. I, right. I and that's what that's what people people want to know the unknown, but at the same time they've got to realize this is a private corporation owned by an individual who's making decisions at, at levels that they see to befit the company. Um a lot of people don't like to hear. A lot of people don't like to hear that because of the way that uh, Bricklink came about, and mm -hmm. I totally get that. And you know, not being the defender on that, like I totally get that, and I agree. But someone has to be the defender of for this show, right? <clears throat> hey, Keith, do you want to uh, introduce yourself at all? Can you guys hear me okay? I can. Tell someone's talking, but not really. Yeah, I can barely, I can't hear him at all. All right, something all happened. Right, something. And we have, do you have an echo as well? I don't. All right. You there, Keith? He just muted himself. All right. Well, 
technical difficulties. Well, the comments are saying, uh, making reference to Brick Owl, which is very true. Brick Owl is a company out of the UK that um, that sort of the same platform as um, as Bricklink. Um, they have recently this week uh, just stated that they are going to say solely Lego, and that's all, and not offer anything else by any other vendors. Seem to have been met by a lot of agreement. So Casey Metro is reporting that uh, he's done been successful with Brick Owl this month, and there's been a lot of people that have experienced a lot of success with Brick Owl. Very true. We're talking about snow. Uh, Kitten Villa Ranch has said uh, he found that elephant, and all I got to say is, wow, I could not imagine one loud person could make so much noise around the community. So I'm trying to figure out who the noise is. Is that me? <laughs> um, how dare you? How dare I voice my opinion? You know you're not entitled to that anymore. Oh, might be talking about someone else though. Yeah, uh, and Minifig W states except uh, Brick Owl has a fraction of the popularity of Bricklink. Mm -hmm. Very, very true. Very yeah. true. Very true. A lot of good as far as number number of buyers and um, number of sellers, um, name recognition as well. <clears throat> Sorry. So, I'm told that the taxes issue with shipping will be cleared up very soon. Very soon. What about the, did you say you're having volume issues? Volume issues? Yeah, like you had like, there was something wrong with like the volume of like your orders or something like that. I don't really remember what exactly you're talking about. I don't either. Okay. I don't know exactly. I'll bring it up again, but all right. Until then. <laughs> so keep us having mic issues. That's fine. Um, hopefully you can get those sorted out. Since we can't hear Keith, do you mind kind of introducing him? Because I, I don't know who he is. So Keith is just uh, Keith's a friend of mine. He's up out of Rochester, New York. He's in Rochlug, and he's uh part of the hashtag dad network, Lego dad network. Mm -hmm. um, he uh, stepped forward a couple few years ago and um, said, hey, this is for sale in the Rochester Lego store on the pick a brick wall. Would you be interested in it? And he was basically the first person that, you know, stepped forward and was just like, hey, I like, like what you're doing and the reasons and I'd like to help. So, yeah. Um, just wanted to have him on today because he also just helped me uh, score a bunch of copies of Clayface, and I'm going to be able to use those to um, to seed a couple of couple charities that I'm starting to get rolling on a little bit, bit more. So it was nice to be able to uh, have something happen, you know. Now, when you say a Lego Dad Network, what is that? Or I don't know. That just something, I'm, something I'm making up. Okay. I didn't know. I was like, this is either something he just made up or. Oh, yeah, totally, totally. But I mean, there's been, but in the in the recent past, there's been a lot of uh, dads, let's say, um, that have just come forward. I mean, they've got kids, they are into Lego, and, you know, they support the cause, so to speak. Yeah. Like the guy in Germany who was in Legoland <laughs> was like, hey, do you want any of this stuff off the, the Legoland Germany brick a brick wall? Yes. Yeah, Lego Dad Network. Gotcha. Secret. Uh, I think he was talking magic quantities of certain lots. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, oh, with the volume? Yeah. No, no, no. The, it has, it has to do with shipping, like how much... Um, 
brick you can fit in certain like priority boxes, like the volume. Oh, the dimensions. All right, yeah, the dimensions, the volume of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you say still, there's no problem with that. Um, I understand that they're adding the dimensions right away. That's one of the big kickers from some of the old cats in the comments in the forum has been that um, you know, basically Bricklink had all of this lead time to get the dimensions in there. Basically, insinuation is you knew this was coming. You knew it was going to be a problem. How come you didn't release a uh, tool sooner for us to be able to input the dimensions of the items so that the automated checkout would work, especially with flat rate? I'm having a little bit of problem with that on my um, breakout. I didn't realize that for a long time I had a, an order over a pound or 16 ounces in breakout till like last week. And I'm, it's automatically charging for a medium box when something I can easily shove into a flat rate bubble mailer. So I go back and have to refund some people some stuff because it, it just, I can't justify charging, let's say 13 bucks or whatever it is for something that really costs six or seven. So I think that might be, it's probably on my end, honestly. <coughs> Yeah, it gets the priority flat rates get a little iffy sometimes with the volume. Yeah, um, because they roll up automatically if you don't have, and it's hard to tell with the flat rate a lot. Yeah. So I bet I have that happen a lot, and all I have to do is refund the buyer over on Bo, and yeah. you're going to have to do it on Bricklink as well, especially if, until all the fine tune gets out there. Yeah, I think on Bricklink though, I have it. Who are still invoiced for anything over 16 ounces or 14 and a half ounces. If they have a separate setting for specific elements cushion, that could be helpful to adjust. Yeah. Um, where you could lower the cushion on very small items that sort of do their own automatic aligning. Right. Like say one by one tile. Something like that. You guys hear me now? No, you're going to have to turn up your input volume a, a lot. Looking for it. Keep going. London Bricks is saying, I got 10 orders in one day on Bricklink. It's hard to manage with such high orders. And tis the season, dude. Like, uh, you got to know this is happening every single year. Like, everybody gets popular. It's the holidays. You know, you're gonna, get, you're gonna get a lot of lot of zero feedback buyers, a lot of people needing assistance. But you know, just remember that you're the you're the source of happiness. So take it take it in stride. You're Santa for a few weeks. Yeah, Lego Santa. Try your mic again, Keith. I'm looking. I found just about everything except for the microphone. No. Nope. Let me see if I can boost them. I don't think it's going to be able to boost that much. Yeah, who who was it that they had a lot of orders in one day? Let's see. Oh well, I mean, now who were you just talking to? Was it London or Xfinity or who was it? That was. Let me try to look at the chat. Oh, Xfinity. Okay. Um, if you really feel overwhelmed with it, maybe adjust your minimum buy or a lot okay. limit thing just a tad. Have you had a lot of success adjusting your uh, minimum or your lot minimum? Me personally? Yeah. Um, a couple times I shifted a couple of dollars just to like barely slow down some inflow. I've only done it like a couple of times. But like right now, I have mine set at one lot, one dollar per lot, and minimal buy of one dollar. So everything's fine for me now. I mean, I got four orders like in one day, over three websites. Uh, it's not bad at all. But I mean, ten orders in one day, I probably wouldn't. 
adjust it for that personally, but you know, it all depends on your schedule and you know how much time you want to spend on it. Yeah, and that's one of the big things when it comes to uh, people trying to stretch out and sell on Brick Owl and Bricklink is it does start to become overwhelming sometime for people. So, I mean, if you're if you're feeling overwhelmed during the holidays with the number of orders that you're getting, um, you, you might want to you might want to reconsider branching out yet, you know, or only have the one store open during the holidays. I would recommend just you know working through it because, like, like you said, tis the season. Tis the season. I'm not sure if uh, he's got his mic working yet or not. Thanks. So. Testing one, two, three. There you yes. go. Yes. Yes. Yay. All right. Excellent. So okay, go ahead. Well, I got to go. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Tell yourself, uh, talk about yourself for a second. Sure. You're on the big um, screen. Let's see. Can you guys see me okay? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, my son is 10 years old. Around 10 years ago, when I knew it was going to be a son, I began collecting Legos like crazy because I knew how much I loved him as a kid. And when he popped out, well, it just didn't work out quite that way. So what do I do with all these bricks? And that's how it all began. And it's been snowballing since. Um, the pace that I'm keeping, I think, is precisely proper for me to grow at a, at a rate that I can handle. I hope someday that he'll flip his opinions and inherit the business we can work on it together i think that'll be great fun and great learning for for him and i i get the feeling that whatever resistance he has is gonna melt and he'll be all over it soon yeah. but of all the kids in his school he's got to be the only one who could care less that he's surrounded by all this plastic <laughs> yeah and normally i don't sound like lou rawls that's courtesy of someone passing me the flu but nice to meet y'all <laughs> At least you don't have to worry about uh, worry about theft as much. True that. Yeah, uh, it's uh, theft has been a big topic in our house for the past couple of weeks. So, I'll be a year and a half, two years away from that. Oh yeah, just my understanding is Santa's sending an, a uh, one of the elves from his uh, Elf on the Shelf uh, troop to watch the store as well. Nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah, there's, been some, good job. there's been some theft down here that have had to do some some scurries on readjustments on inventories because they we're not we're no longer new. Uh -oh. so. Cool. Who's who's on the call with us, Brendan? All right, so we have a uh, Great South Bricks. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Hey. Myself, and then we've got the chat going over on YouTube, and there's a number of people over there. A lot of folks talk about their uh, newfound love of capitalism, meaning they're probably getting a whole bunch of sales in. Gotcha. Newfound love. Hold on a second, guys. A lot of uh, new people opening up uh, stores because of the holidays. Yeah. Um, I'm in the middle of a little enough to open up stores for the holidays. If you could, that'd be even better. If you can wait, that's fine, too. People hop it on, take advantage of it, I guess. Sorry about that. Rick Revolution wants to see a scared straight uh, version of the show. <laughs> Who do we need right. scared? scared straight? I tried doing that a couple of years ago with uh, posting a picture every hour on Instagram of sort of like a, and the ending comment was, is this is what it's like if you want to really be a seller on Bricklink during the holiday season. And evidently it was taken the wrong way by a lot of folks um, who felt that I was trying to be a braggart that I had those many orders. When in reality it was just, hey, this is what happens. It's a reality. <laughs> Takes time. This is what it's all about this time of the year. So grab one of those for me, will you, Brendan? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I think at this point, knowing what Christmas means to everybody, if you aren't prepared to spend the time, you know it's coming, you should just shut your store for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was actually surprised to see that um, uh, Bricks Anywhere was closed through the new year. 
Mm -hmm. I forgot that they did that. They, uh, they close up their doors during the holidays because it's family time. It's kind of pretty, it's pretty admirable considering that they're one of, they're a very large store. Mm -hmm. It's also inventory time based on how they're set up. Pretty, pretty surprised. All right. So uh, I'm here as defender of Brickling today. If somebody has a rant in the comments that they want to make, uh, I will be happy to uh, rant back as I have a, an unofficial Bricklink. I have a mini rant. It's I have, I, have zero I have zero permission of the Bricklink Corporation to do this, by the way. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah. But I don't like when I receive email from Bricklink, if we're just uh, requesting a quote or something that's not going through the standard paths, um, the reply is Bricklink as opposed to the actual sender. And uh -huh. if I'm moving too fast, I'm replying to Bricklink. Right. So that is actually a setting for privacy uh -huh. of if the person does not want to respond back with their direct email address. Um, I wish that Bricklink would implement uh, a similar system to what they have on BrickOwl where it's a message that just goes back and forth between the Brick Owl mail server. Um, so that way, the, every admin from Brick Owl has a copy of every email that went back and forth. So there's no questions on what was said and was not said to a customer um, or a, what a customer said to you. It's very easy to track and understand the solution or problems at that point and be able to judge what happened. Um, problem is, is Bricklink is working on what is known in is it's spaghetti code. So one person writing code, it's like a stream of thought type of code work. Um, so it's difficult for somebody to hop in who's not that person and cannot reference that person um, to make changes. And I honestly think that the solution for Bricklink is rolling out a brand new portal and having a classic portable por classic portal available. And I'm told that that is already the plan. Good. That they will be rolling out a classic to go along with the new one, and that there will be a setup that allows you to never <laughs> ever see or know that anything but Lego was ever being featured or sold on Bricklink. Nice. So they're basically going to have a mute button for people that are extreme diehards. So they are listening. Um, they are taking it up the chain. The, uh, the comments that are palatable from the community, um, they are listening to people's messages concerning uh, the categorization. And they're also listening with ears wide open to suggestions on seller tools. So cool. I, made, I made two suggestions on seller tools today. And they're both understood and accepted. So I gave my reasoning for it, and they thought they were good ideas. One of them being um, some sort of caveat in the checkout for automatic checkout to allow for free shipping to be kicked in, um, whether it be based upon a dollar amount or, in my request case, being a city. So I want a specific city to be offered free shipping no matter what. Um, and that's because if I wanna be able to have APO get free shipping automatically on auto checkout and people to go through. When I, once I explained that, they completely understood and they were 100% behind it. And I do definitely believe that that little caveat of city will be added because it adds for other things too for people that do local pickups. So what it would allow you to have, if you were chosen, you know, local pickup, blah, 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 to be able to do that type of thing. Or a coupon for free shipping instead of a dollar amount. Right, right. Uh, there's Ooh, supposed to be... For your local uh, lug, you know. Right, there's supposed to be additional coupons, so they're, they're supposed to be able to do some stuff in the future with stackable coupons as well. So... Good. Really hoping so. And, but I also hope that they include the, what's called, language that you're allowed to put in the existing coupons, where you can make coupons for this, but not for this, or for this, but not for that. Uh, a couple of people have a question in the chat. Um, how does one acquire brick arms for resale? If they ignore AliExpress. 
<laughs> and that's the other question in the forum. Is that is, if Brick Arms does not have, and I'm going to play, I'm going to play the devil's advocate on there as well as Defender. Um, if Brick Arms does not have a site that they sell for themselves, and they have reseller licenses, what? How am I supposed to compete with anybody? Be it a reseller who has who's getting them at a lower price than I do if I go to Toys R Us and get them on sale, or if Brick Arms were to just open up their own store here on Bricklink, right? And that's the whole you know WTF that follows along with this is is this just some way for Brick Arms to sell their own stuff on Bricklink? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not getting into the game, so I honestly don't care. But you can always go to Brick Arms and apply for a reseller license. I'm sure there's hoops you got to jump through, but if you choose to enter into that field, you can. You know, I definitely, if I were to sell third-party goods, I definitely would be getting a hold of Kale right now from Brick Model Railroad and trying to work out some sort of deal. Mm -hmm. you know. See, like, if I decide I want to sell Brick Arms, do I have to do just like a normal toy store where we go to Lego or Melissa and Doug or, you know, little people, Tyco, whatever? Would I have to, like, buy a bulk from them at a certain price and resell them? And is my name going to stick, be stuck somewhere right here? <laughs> or are they just going to have to go to Brickling and try to find me? Like, how does that work? I'm thinking that they're probably going to be adding in a line item here for Bricklink specifically. And it would link to their categories under Bricklink. And again, this is, these are just assumptions. Right, right, this right. This is how I would ask my new vendor to advertise and link to their goods. Mm -hmm. Um because I would want to make sure that one, people were going to the area where they were supposed to, and two, I wouldn't be upsetting the apple cart any more than it already is. I mean, literally the forum is in fuego this entire week. Oh yeah. And I was, I was part of them. I'll admit it. I was part of them. Uh, I got a message from a friend that said, I may have to unfollow you. This shit is toxic. And <laughs> in their shoes, it was, and understandably so. I don't want to poison the waters or anything like that. I want, uh, I just want basically hoping to be heard just like anybody else. I'm nobody special, but uh, I, I want what I have not to be soured. Um, the wanted list fiasco of 15 is still looming over me. I'm still hoping on changes to be made there. Now, tell me the problem with the wanted list right now. Uh, it defaults to it defaults to any. Hmm. So if you use the wanted list, it defaults to any, which means cheapest brick on the market, gotcha. cheapest quality, cheapest brick on the market, and it calculates from there. Hmm. Um. So I went into, by the way, they got, they got Mosaic up and running for anybody that didn't know. So you can now submit, a, submit an item on Mosaic and uh, build a wanted list off that. So I did that. And I then got 294 entries in my shopping cart across the globe. Definitely not the cheapest. Like two or three elements from Italy. One or two elements from Belgium. You know, just all over. Um, Makes no sense. It just it needed fine tuning, and that's that's the big, big thing with a lot of people is the fine tuning that's there. People want a sandbox. People want to go on there. They want to make suggestions. They want to use it out and try it. Um, but at the same point, or at the same time, we're sellers, not not shareholders. And uh, basically, we we treat the admins like shit over on the forum, um, not mm -hmm. on purpose. Not on purpose, but Brickling is a very small company, 15 people total, and owned by a billionaire. The people that work there are very passionate about the company and the brick. Um, and when they continually read the word you in the comments, 
sometimes gets starts you start to take the word you as very personal. And I'm guilty of it as well, which is why I always try to put in every single message that uh, I'm not trying to crap on the admins at all. I appreciate the admins for what they do. This is a message that I'm trying to get forward to uh, the, uh, the managers, the owners, you know. Know, know your core audience and uh, understand that this isn't just the rantings of a few of said people. Right. And I would love to see a list of how many, uh, how many accounts, not how many total messages, but how many accounts actually responded to it, minus the fakies that have been seen in there. Yeah. Um, just see how many unique people, and then play that against how many people responded to this in one fashion or another that have never made a post in the forum ever before. Yeah. You know, and you, you, that's how I draw metrics as far as figuring out some sort of popularity in something like this. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I just kind of stayed away from the conversation is honestly my <laughs> My opinion really isn't too, let's just say, severe. I'm not really very passionate about my opinion on the subject. So I just kind of stayed out of it. I saw that they were going to rip the part, and I didn't want to be in any part of it. Yeah. So Port City Bricks asks, playing devil's advocate, would one not have to search specifically for Brick Armor's parts to come across them? Like, if I don't search for Duplo, wouldn't find it? Not necessarily. So, Brick Arms also not only carries accessories for minifigures and such, but they also do carry minifigures. And they do carry minifigure accessories. Some of which you may look for by name, typing in hat, or helmet, boonie, Boom. cap, something like that. Um, also would come up if you just search for a minifigure head, torso, stuff like that. So that's uh, the example that was given, and I'm not going to give that as one of my examples, but the example given on the forum was gun. And that, um, that was because I believe that the person who was making that comment um, was very uh, a purist of Lego, and one of the reasons why they were a purist of Lego was the um, the non-killing part. Um, for a lot of fans of Lego, that's a huge part of it. Yeah, um, they use they use play with you know Lego because it, it has that escape. It, it doesn't include that aspect of real life in it. So, and that's a that's a real thing. That's something that uh, there's a lot of people that are into it. I'm not laughing at those people. I'm just, I'm, I'm actually chuckling that um, there's people that don't think that that's a high, high population of users of Lego, and it actually really is. Mm -hmm. the diehard fans. My thing is, when I would have a problem with it is if, like I said, I searched gun, and then, you know, on Bricklink has like parts, you know, 586 you know, item or parts for gun, are they going to be mixed in there or is it going to have a se separate section that says these are the Lego and the normal parts or and these are the brick arm parts or are they just going to be mixed in? If they're mixed in, I have a problem with that. If they're separate, I can say, hey, you know, I'm, I don't want any of these. It just depends on how you have your individual account set up. But, so if you just have it set up fresh, It'll show everything. I believe it will. Hold on. Let me check to verify. The way it is right now, my understanding is that it will show both, but I've got a. I think I have the answer here on what the default is. Hold on. Talk amongst yourself for a second. Like long walks on the beach. Act as though you know each other. Um, 
I do have a friend that looks just like Keith. It was, was kind of scary when he came on. Really? Look at my friend Josh. Yeah. Is he a good guy? No. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. Freaked me out for a second. I was like, oh, that's Josh. Nope, that's Keith. There is going to be a selling. There is going to be a setting for, like I said, for Lego only, but I don't know if it's going to be default or not. Okay. okay. Not knowing that, I can't honestly answer your question. And get the camera pointed away from your, your junk. Um, it's just for you. Um, Say that for hauling the ball. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, as of right now, in sandbox mode, it's intermingled. And when you look in parts, you also see the categories immediately for brick arms because it's alphanumeric. So brick arms comes right after brick. Right. Um, you search in the in the default when you switch search for gun or items that would be named similar to anything that brick arms has they come up in the default search as well but if you were to be searching under minifigure comma weapon it's only going to come up with lego if you were to be searching where you changed your default parameters to i only want to see lego mm -hmm. you should only see Lego. Mm -hmm. And that should be the default. Or but why am I investing all of this in the ability to have that if I'm gonna hide it from everyone? Right. I don't know what your preferences are. As a company, <clears throat> I'm offering you something that I believe that you will be interested in. That's why I'm doing this to expand upon what's currently available in the Lego market. So why would I hide it? Yeah. If you're upset with it, we have a way for you to no longer ever see that and or ever know that it will ever exist again. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's a compromise that everybody's going to have to make one way or another. You've got to understand it from the other side. Well, let's look at it like if you go to Target's website and you look for toys, you hit and you want to look for Lego, you click on building sets. You click on that. Then you filter. Do you want Mega Bloks, Lego, Connects, and all that stuff? Or you just choose what you want, which in my case will be Lego, and it just shows that. I mean, if it's like that, you know, whatever, I can adjust my parameters. It modernizes, essentially. Yeah. So even if you're on target and you type in the word Lego, you also get mega blocks. You also get connects because in the bigger world, the bigger scheme of things, Lego is considered to be the name of every single building block out there. <laughs> you know, and that's what, that's what, that's the, that's where the fear is with everybody is they don't want Bricklink to become that. They don't want that to happen to Bricklink. Um, or the sponsored search item that pops up. Let's not even go there. Let's not give ideas. That's another can of worms right there. Don't even open that. Don't even give those ideas, man. Sponsored searches, are those things are terrible. Yeah. Um, Basta Basta saying, I think if you search for weapon or gun, etc., you, could, you be could be shown B items. And you will be. You will be. And it, it's, it's, so there's going to be some people that love that. And there's going to be people that hate that. And you just have to fine tune your view to reflect what you want. If you enjoy, if you hate every third party good that's out there, if you wear Lego PJs and you're handing them down to your kids and you sleep in Lego seat sheets and, you know, you drink out of a Lego coffee cup, um, filter it all out. Yeah. If you'd like to be annoyed all day long by seeing that stuff and you're that type of person, don't filter it out, you know. You can fix it. You might not like it. It's going to come. We have zero, zero, zero choice about it. It is a company. There's lawyers. Contracts have been signed. Business has been done. You know, there's not anything that can be done. It's going to come. Um, the market research has been done, and it shows that this would be a good thing for Bricklink, mm -hmm. and they're going to do it. And the person who runs Bricklink has money for a reason. Um, like I said, in today's show, I will be playing the defender of Bricklink, whether I like it or not. So I'll be playing the indifferent citizen. 
Yeah, don't don't uh, don't necessarily believe the hype. I'm just standing in their shoes trying to explain without permission. What about, what without about permission. Like, what about things like Lepin? Uh, as it was mentioned in the forum, they are currently not considering it. Good. But in the future, they might be open to it. Now, not Lepin, because there is specific quality controls that BrickLink wants to adhere to and maintain. They're not looking to bring in every single third party possible brick company in the world. They're looking to bring in quality goods. Um, they're not looking to bring in, you know, Brick Lord 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 12, 42s, hand painted minifigures with a toothpick. Yeah. Oh, man. What must let's do with all these? I don't know. <laughs> if, that, if that guy or gal actually exists, like, no, no insult intended. And. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a couple of people asking about bricks for soldiers. Um, once it gets going and once it rolls and once there is a steady stream of potential recipients, I will be opening up the floodgates to accept donations. Um, I have also hinted to the folks at BrickLink that I would love to see an addition made to the, um, let's call it the, uh, the, the index for elements, uh, one that includes um, uh, fee exempt, so that if you are doing something in your store that is going towards a charitable cause, that um, when you sell it in your store, you are not charged a percentage by BrickLink for that item. So you're getting more for your charitable bang for the buck than that you can. Right. Um, and I explained my reasonings. Um, and hopefully that will be considered as well. So right now it's just, it's still gonna be just me. If there's somebody out there that um, knows some folks that could use some Lego and they're in a hostile fire zone, let me know, Give me, let me get in touch with them. Um, right now I'm personally vetting all the recipients just to make sure that we don't get scammed. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm hoping that it becomes a thing. Um, my uncle had uh, clued me in that the Pennsylvania Wounded Warriors Project is separate than the National, who's come under fire recently for a number of things, but um, and that she runs it completely separate and stuff like that, and I could uh, possibly <laughs> contact her for a good place to start. Yeah. So. But uh, right now, the only thing that's available to support Bricks for Soldiers if you want to do it is uh, there's yellow ribbons that are for sale in my store that go towards the the free shipping um, to anybody who's active duty but back to the bricklaying thing but thank you for your question i didn't i didn't intend to talk about that today actually until uh well several people brought it up after you just quickly mentioned it so you know no problem Does anyone have any good thoughts on shipping to Australia? Uh, yeah, flat letter or uh, flat rate or not flat rate, um, envelope and a large envelope rate. Typically, yeah, going to be bigger it. sets. What was that? Uh, DHL so account. That's one of the many bad answers I've gotten. And you have, you, I know you have a UPS account. Or I'm assuming. No, I don't. So you can set up a UPS account through PayPal. Mm -hmm. It's free. You get a percentage off of what the listed shipping price is. So uh, sometimes I've found that depending upon where it's shipping to, if I have a three or four pound order, it's sometimes cheaper to ship it through UPS as a five pound package on ground than it is through anybody that's on UPS. But it's a free service set up through PayPal. Um, but more than four pounds, 
I don't even know where to go. Separate it. There you go. Multiple shipments. Um, a lot of the options that are available to the big stores are not available to us. <laughs> But as long as you, as we've said before on the show, as long as you can put it in the package properly and follow the rules, um, you can get it shipped out sure. fairly, fairly expen inexpensively. Um, I think I start shipping to Canada at like, it starts at 236 plus the $1 of uh, self or personal employment, self or self, what is it? No, self-insurance. And that's through UPS? No, that is through PayPal. Shipping via who? USPS. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, USPS is what I overwhelmingly do, even the Australia stuff, and it's only because there's enough it's, of a gap between them and everyone else. It's always not great, though. Okay. I was hoping someone would say, oh, yeah, here's my magic bullet. There isn't yeah, one. sealed sets are a whole different animal because it it's automatically goes into being a package rate instead of an envelope rate. Okay, well, it's batting around 50, and I imagine that's going to continue. Yeah, um, I would talk to the buyer, see if they were willing to lose the box, and if they lose the box, it can save dramatically on shipping. Mm -hmm. um, but I would not suggest trying to go slow boat on anything long distance right. yeah. cheapest option is not always the best option middle of the road is usually the best sure thank you sir Thurs. so uh let's see i admit to being ignorant towards bricklink i've never placed an order but it was my understanding that bricklink was a purist site until this announcement is this true yes and no so it was always purest as that in that the only thing that was ever included in the um, in the database in the catalog the basically the catalog is the heart and soul of bricklink um, was official Lego goods you were allowed to sell custom stuff under the custom section now customs that were allowed were chromed elements but there's big problems with chromed elements because you, when you chrome it, you're covering Lego. And why even use Lego if you're chroming it? A lot of people went down that road. Um, it was for custom prints. And it was for third-party goods. The uproar now is that the catalog is being commingled with other products. So the purists are, are stepping up and being quite loud. Um, I would like that catalog to remain pure, which is why I'm highly suggesting a separate category that <clears throat> includes third party customs and my kid's old diapers. Are you selling those too? Let's see. Uh... Oh, cold water. I was trying to figure out what cold water was talking about. It was talking about biking, I believe, or hiking. You guys stop talking about exercise. We're trying to talk about Lego here. <laughs> hey, man, I'm trying to lose my belly. Yeah, KC Metro says catalog was create is created by community but owned by Bricklink, and that is very true. Yes. And when Bricklink bought Bricklink, they also bought the rights to the catalog and the rights of how to use the catalog as they saw fit. Uh, there's a lot of people in the forum that are talking about I would buy Bricklink and Although I have not mentioned it publicly. I would pitch in to try to buy it, too You know, I would love to have it be a community-owned thing, but unfortunately um, There's differing opinions and how would you even set up that organization? I'd be for it if the owner was willing to sell it keeping all those employees on and figuring out a different path, but <laughs> I don't think it's ever going to happen. Big mess. Uh, what thickness are you allowed to ship at a letter rate in the U.S.? It's three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to say like 1.92 centimeters. Um, Port C, to answer your question, don't really do Lego type sets, but they have like these packs. 
like weapon packs, and then you may get a soldier with a couple guns or something. Let's click on this. Right. Uh, there are companies that are being looked at that do do full sets. Uh, the sets, the pieces that they use, from my understanding, from all these companies, is Lego, um, because mm -hmm. these companies understand the perfection that goes into making Lego, and they enjoy not having to deal with broken pieces. Mm -hmm. so. Am I just am I looking at Gimli right here? That's just Gimli with more yes. weapons. I guess it's okay. I guess it's the weapons, not the minifigure. That's in the. Oh, never mind. There we go. Minifig not included. I'm not paying attention. It's late. <laughs> Look, my beard looks like that now. Trench pack. Oh, this is cool stuff. I mean, look at this guy. That's pretty cool. Oh, well. It's going to happen. Yep. There's no choice in it. We are along for the ride. We are. We are. Now, if you are a 100% purist, and that's what you want, and you don't want commingling, and this absolutely makes you sick to your stomach what's happening, and then uh, you might want to find yourself on Brick Owl where they've said that they will only stay that, or they will only offer Lego ever and ever and ever. Um, that's the prerogative. I sell also on Brick Owl. It's a, good, it's a great website. They both are. Um, I'll be honest, I have no idea how to buy a Brick Owl. <coughs> I need to do that. I need to, I need to start making cold purchases over there. And uh, that's not Gimli. That's, I think that's uh, Evil Dwarf. Oh, uh, you'll do it. Wait. Okay. Thank you for the information. It does beg the question, then, where do you draw the line on third-party bricks? And it's quality. That's the line that is right there that they've already referred to. And legality. Quality. Yeah, and legality. If it's legal to sell, and it's a high-quality <laughs> item. So you're hopefully, you will find stuff like Brick Model Railroad on there. You will find stuff, hopefully, from Brick Forge on there. You know, you will find all of these larger companies hopefully on there one day. It's just my kicker is how it's implemented. And that's, it's coming. I ain't got no way to stop it, and neither do you. So just <clears throat> try to help in a constructive and polite manner in protecting the brand of BrickLink that we all know and love. That's my goal. Mm-hmm. They're making this decision. They've done the research. They have information that we never will because it's their company. They know what their vision is, and it's they don't have to share their vision. Um, at the same time, you also don't have to believe in it. But uh, I have never said jump ship, and I do not recommend anybody jumping ship. I saw a lot of threats about that. Just, I did as well. I'm um, sure they're very. A lot of them are very empty threats. But there's a couple stores that have closed their door and moved over. Uh, there's a thread on Brick Owl concerning, or basically not concerning this, it's just a declaration that it will remain Lego pure. Um, that a lot of the ship jumpers or discontent people are posting on. And I was the first. You know, I, I want a place that's pure. I, in my store, we will only sell Lego products. I understand there's a huge draw for other things. We've got other things, you know. I can't say that I don't support third-party stuff because I've got stuff from Brick Model Railroad. Yeah. You know, they've got great stuff for trains. Um, you know, I've, 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 I want to get some stuff from 4D, you know, so... You gonna stick something on your splash page saying uh, this is only Lego or whatever? Now, I don't see a need to stoke the fire quite yet. Yeah. You know. Oh, I don't mean like right now. Just like yeah, that would seem like that's like I don't know, throwing in someone's face. Well, a lot of there, if you notice, if, if, you, if, you, 
the thing is, is um, when I read a lot of these comments, I also look at how long the person has been on mm -hmm. Ricklink site. And from a lot of these people, it's pre-2010. So I I give their their comments a little bit more weight. You know, they knew the founder, yeah, exactly. they were familiar that's with the original that. vision. You know, that's how they fell in love with Bricklink. Yeah. Me, I was referred to Bricklink by a, a person from the Lego Corporation because I was looking for a new head for uh, some of the dinosaurs where the uh, the head had the heads had like lasers in the eyeballs. Like dino attacks or something. Oh yeah, but, okay. okay. Oh, and they referred me to Bricklink, and I instantly fell in love. I only use it for the catalog at first. While well, I was trying to put stuff to, back together. Up, oh, no more saying it. It's a generic elf from the old Castle Fantasy line. We both were wrong. Never wrong, it's Gimli. <laughs> Kittenville saying that uh, they had to ship a train set and headed to D box. Some customers agreed with it, some are not. You know, it never hurts to ask. It never hurts, especially when it saves. If they're just going to throw out the box, you know, I always recommend it. But some people love to save the box. You know, there's certain we, sets where I've saved the box. Yeah, we save we save all of our Christmas set boxes. Um, I save all the boxes from the modulars now. Um, any UCS set. Any set that has a what I think is going to be a high sentimental value for the kids twenty years down the road. So like Benny's spaceship, I saved the box to it. Oh yeah. If he doesn't have sentimental attachment to it, I'm his kids. One of his kids is going to get it. Well, like that. Yeah, you should definitely save old boxes if you come across them, even if they're in raggedy shape, because some people still want. The raggedy old box. It smells like an old lady. <laughs> How does he have that reference? What? How does he know what an old lady smells like? Grandma. Grandma, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so PCB is saying that they're just going to see, wait for it to roll in, and adjust their preferences as it happens. And that's what I suggest to everybody. Um, there's nothing that can be done, you know. There's lawyers, contracts. That's the because that matters in the world. Uh, Brick Alfie, I think, is three percent, right? Yeah. yeah, I believe so. It's the same. Different type of buyer, just so you know. It is. It's completely a different type of buyer, unless you're getting. Well, it, it's actually a cornucopia of different kinds of buyers because you have the stuff coming right off of Rebrickable mm -hmm. where you're apt to get a lot of onesie twosies. Right. A lot of left wings only. Yeah. Democrats and liberals shop on there? What? No, no, I mean splitting up the set. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. We don't get political here. No. <clears throat> that keeps everybody happy. Um, more no stuff. more bricks should be extremely excited about this news. Actually, um, he foretold this about four months ago that he right. wanted uh, some place to sell everything, an indexed catalog of everything brick related. Even <laughs> cold water <laughs> saying that uh, they get more. <laughs> School buyers on Brick Owl. I haven't had that uh, experience yet. What do you mean school buyers? Uh, I think school teachers. I'm assuming so school programs. Gotcha. I've had one on Brick Owl. Just because the address, I'm like, okay, that has to be a program. I've had yeah. one recently at my wife's school on Brickland. So, Coldwater, if you want to come on next week to discuss some stuff. I'd actually like that. I'd like to get new people in and on. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be, uh, we're going to be probably oh. closing it out for the night here. 
Um, I didn't even realize that an hour had gone by already. This is, I think, the first show where we've had something to talk about the entire time, and you guys have been very enthusiastic as well in the comments. I really appreciate that. I like the interaction between and the questions that are asked. Um, you know, we're here to sort of help everyone. This is definitely part of the hashtag Lego Dad Network. Uh, dads, including moms as well, of course. So, or aunts and uncles, nannies, grandmas, grandpas, legal guardians. Yeah, we're all we're all doing it for the same for the same reason, you know. At least that's the that's the approach that I'm going with. That if you're watching the show and you're following me and talking to me about this stuff, that you're also somebody who's doing this because you love Lego and because you're supporting some goal for your kid's future, you know. And that's what a lot of people are, at least that talk to me about it. So. So go ahead and time for the shout outs. Great South, you're on. Talk about yourself, your store. GreatSouthBricks.com. Also, that goes my brick link. Also, there's brick out. Also, there's eBay. Where you might even be able to, you know, buy Great South Bricks old wardrobe on eBay. <laughs> really? <clears throat> Not in a creepy way. Just I got I got fat. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at uh, uh. <clears throat> All right, Keith, go ahead. Sure. My Bricklink store is House of Many Bricks, and it's very accurate. Maybe I should change it to House of Too Many Bricks, though that might be blasphemy. Um, no other outlets at the moment, but hearing this chat about Brick Owl makes me want to poke around there for a little bit. Well, uh, just know that if you do... You either need to have a computer that's up and running 24-7, able to run the app that synchronizes the stores, or uh, get a third party to host that service for you and pay a percentage of fees. So there are opposite routes. Um, next time we have Doc on or Busy, we'll have them talk about that program since they both run those. One that you I run two, are, you, are you running that 3% thing too? One percent, yeah. One percent. Oh man, I'm telling you, twenty dollar donation to the brick stock guy. Twenty dollar donation to the folks over at Brick Stock. Fund the fund the development folks that are making this happen for all of us. Um, but uh, you know, have a great week. I guess I don't know how, how we're gonna end this. <laughs> Uh, Christmas carols? No. Earth. Oh, no. That's something else. Never mind. Is that like a earth? Wind. <laughs> Fire. All right. I'm Big B.I. Brick. Thanks Great. for joining. Uh, that's it. That's all. And see you next week. Good.